Ah, you're here. I've been expecting you. You'll never guess what we cooked up for you today. Unless you guess tech news, because that's what it is. Tech news. <laughs> PC gamers can all agree mechanical keyboards are all the rage. But which type of key switch is the best? Well, you'll no longer have to choose if Epic Gear gets its way. The company has developed a modular keyboard that allows you to swap out one type of switch for another at any time. The keyboard uses Epic Gear's own EG mechanical switches, which come in gray, orange, and purple varieties, which roughly equate to Cherry MX reds, browns, and blues, respectively. The idea is you can keep most of the keys on one switch and swap out specific gaming keys like WASD or the spacebar, etc. Imagine that! A company innovating on gaming keyboard design without adding more RGB LEDs. ASRock is sticking it to the man. The man is, in this case, Intel, who recently brought the hammer down on various motherboard manufacturers solutions for enabling overclocking on non-K Skylake CPUs. Well, ASRock is having none of that. They just released H170 and B170 motherboards that use an external clock generator chip to circumvent the clock generator on the actual Intel CPU. This will allow users to increase the base clock in increments of 0.0625 to 5 megahertz, as well as tweak memory clock. This is interesting. And in a surprise move, Google has released a developer preview for Android N. Usually, we don't see the preview for upcoming Android versions until Google reveals the OS at its I.O. developer conference in May, but apparently they wanted early feedback from developers. New Android N features include a native split-screen mode, a picture-in-picture -picture mode so videos can play in a corner of the screen, and more apps get the ability to reply to messages right from the notification bar. If you have a supported Nexus device and don't mind dealing with random glitches and instability, you can sign up for an over-the-air update or download it from the Android developer site. Y'all know what time it is? Smell talk. Come on, <laughs> In other Google news, the company's Project Soli has posted an update showing an engineer demoing a sensor device that would let you type things by just moving your fingers around like you're some sort of magician or something. Very impressive. Also impressive is the fact that Google's AlphaGo AI project has just defeated Li Sedol, a legendary player of the ancient Chinese board game Go. Seagate has unveiled what they claim is the fastest SSD ever. It's a PCIe card that can sustain 6.7 gigabytes per second on an 8-lane PCIe slot and 10 gigabytes per second on a 16-lane PCIe slot. So... It's pretty fast. Id Software has announced the Doom closed beta for those who pre-ordered Wolfenstein, the new order, will run from March 31st to April 3rd, and also release some cool looking multiplayer footage from the game. Whoops, sorry. <gasps> Hello? Hi. Oh, it's you. <laughs> right in the middle of filming. Okay. Uh, Pretty rude. Facebook continues again for Snapchat's live video audience with the acquisition of Masquerade, an app that features live video filters and face swapping tech. I thought we were nearing the end of the whole face swapping thing. No? And Microsoft is testing a new app for Windows 10 Mobile that will allow you to log into your Windows 10 PC just by connecting your phone and PC via Bluetooth. Super cool. Let's bring it to Android, please. Stat. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description below. What a sad guy. What a sad. <laughs> Being a PC gamer is awesome. Buy new hardware and a lot of the time you get free games. Like for example, and for instance, right now until May 31st, 2016, if you buy select MSI Z170 gaming motherboards from NCIX, you'll get a free game code for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. They just released a new expansion for the game and everything. It's really exciting. So click here or in the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on Twitter over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Until next time, fair viewer, may your frame rates be high and your temperatures low. Oh, he's cueing me to go off. Yeah, yeah. See ya.